since I have changed out a few things on my character, um, as you may have noticed from the image there, I am now using the Mask of Jerem, which uh, my mask increases pet damage by 94%, so that's a big buff for me. Um, I'm also using Tall Man's Finger on top of that, so I can uh, increase my zombie dog's damage um, and make the Gargantuan Dog, which is a pretty powerful ally to have on the field. Uh, quite nice. And because of my fire buffs, I'm also making him the burning dog, so it increases my you know overall damage uh, with enemies. But uh, pretty much everything else that you've seen in the other videos is the same. Um, not much else has changed. I am now over a million damage, thank goodness. So that is a good start. Uh, but the build is pretty much the same, except for the gear changes and the fact that I'm using dogs now. I mean, nothing really different. Uh, oh, there's ball and chest is used. Let my dog take care of those guys. Oh, we got something legendary on a video. Thank you. Finally. You know, it's actually been... I don't think I've ever gotten a legendary filmed. <laughs> That's great. Well, since I don't record for a long period... Wow, that looks ridiculous. It goes through the ground like that. <laughs> Took care of them pretty easily. So I'm on Torment 5 right now. And uh, I can I can get through Torment 5 fairly quickly. But um, my resistances for Torment 6, eh, I'm pushing it at that point. So I feel comfortable with Torment 5 um, with my current uh, gear. I'm also using um, Pyrogeist because I like how it attacks multiple enemies at once. I can put out a bunch of different beams of energy. Need healing. Yeah, I would need healing. Just let my pets take care of the work here. So, uh, damage-wise, um, my dog is doing near 30 million damage, my Gargantuan is doing almost 80 million, which is just ridiculous. Uh, so it can really help out with those epic mobs and, you know, get them down. Um, see, there's a 30 million right there. Um, 30 million. Another 30, 31 million. And so that's pretty much the build. Um, another one of these? Okay, another Nutcracker. Let's see how it is, at least. Hmm. It has the critical hit damage and the chance at maximum. Look at that. That's, um... Look at... It's only worth 4146. <laughs> Doesn't have my max stat, so it's pretty useless. Uh, in fact, it won't have intelligence or socket gear, so... Definitely useless for anything else I want to use it for. I'll let my dog take care of him. And so, yeah, the build is pretty much straightforward. Um, I had put up the montage uh, two days ago, so I just thought I would show off some of the actual numbers here with the build and explain it a bit. Um, if you can get the Mask of Jerem, uh, it's just so helpful with your pet damage. I mean, literally, my... The fact that your dog is doing, uh, with the uh, Tall Man's Fingers, doing 30 million a bite is pretty ridiculous. If 29 million crit... You watch, my dog will go to town on these guys. I'm just gonna stand here and let these burn, and then just... I'll let them go to work. As they hit me with long range attacks. Let's see if I get one more mob for the video, and then I'll call it a quits there. Oh, there's one right there. You can see the 80 millions happening over there. Oh shit! I thought I went over a health globe. Death returns to me. Nice work, dog. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for uh, the video. Uh, thought it'd be a nice little update there. Um, 
I'll have more stuff in the future um, once I get time. I might go to Barbarian for a bit. I've been trying to um, complete a uh, fire build with him, um, which it's not the Ariad Earthquake, uh, you know, Leap Earthquake thing, but it's it's decent, so maybe I'll have some videos of that. So anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by, and I'll have more Devil 3 content uh, later on.